In this one, I'm going to show you how to use code snippets to get some of your action script 3.0 to create a stop command and a go to and play. Uh, and uh, without that, you really can't function with your game. I've got my graphics, my buttons created, but when I go in and test my movie by pressing command return or uh, it just flashes through all the scenes. I've got three scenes here and it's just basically playing through all those scenes which I don't want to have happen. Uh, so the first thing I should do if you don't know a lot of coding is go up to window and you've got this nice little piece up here called code snippets and I've got mine kind of attached up here. Let me drag that out and so I can show you actually what it looks like. So code snippets, it gives you some basic uh, things you're going to want to be using. And then the other <clears throat> window you want to have open is your actions, which uh, popped up over here. And once again, you can move that around to where you want that to go. Um, so that's a huge help. And I'm going to be primarily using the timeline navigation, uh, the stop, and then some of these go to and play, next, or scene, uh, and some of those things. So the first thing I need to have happen is I need it to stop. Uh, otherwise, it's going to play through all my scenes. So the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and double click on that stop this frame so that it stops. It will create a new layer for me. So now when I play this, uh, it will stop and it won't move on to the other one. So that's kind of the first thing you need to do. And once I've done that, then I need to get my buttons start working. So um, I'll go ahead and click on this first play button. Uh, and before you can uh, give it a go to and stop, you have to give it an instance. So in your properties here, move that out of the way for a second. So make sure you're not inside your button, otherwise that will cause some issues. So get out of that if you accidentally did that. So single click on your, one of your buttons, give it an instance, and it, it, you can't use numbers or spaces, so I'm just going to go ahead uh, and name this start because I can't name it play because that's going to actually conflict some of the coding too. So I'm just going to name that start and once I've done that now I can go ahead and give it a snippet. <clears throat> so the snippet I'm going to do is I want this when it when I click on it I want it to go to and play my level. So I'm going to go ahead and I could do next uh, if I want to but I'm going to go ahead to and just click and go to the scene. So double click on that. That'll throw in your code in here. The stuff in gray just kind of is an explanation so you can kind of go over that. So I have my stop action in there and now it's in that same action area. Uh, it also will give me my next code. So the one thing I do have to change on this one is I want it to go to and play uh, my level is what I renamed my scene. So I'll go ahead and just change that green. Make sure you keep the parentheses and then now that should go to and play there and you'll also notice in your actions there's this little a icon so if you ever get out of that uh, you can click right back on it and find your your actions on there so if i go ahead and save this and then go ahead and play it it's going to go ahead and bring it up so it brings it up <clears throat> uh, and now when i click on my play it, it's going to go ahead and click and play there. Now, you didn't really see much except for a flash, and the reason is, is on my level, I don't really have much going on there. It's just one single frame, and it's not even stopping. So if I want to at least stop, um, which I'm going to do because I don't have any animation, I need to do the same thing on there. So I've gone from menu to level, and then I'll go ahead and double click on stop frame. That'll put in another action, create a new layer. And now when I save this, Command S to save or Control if you're on a PC, and then Command Return, and that'll play. So now I can go ahead and click Play, and it will play my scene. And then if you wanted a, a button to get back, because right now this that doesn't have any playing functionality right now, you'd want to either create a home button or a back to get to that. Uh, but pretty much if you can get away with just using stop actions and your go-to's to create pretty much um, the very basics of your, your navigation. Um, if I were, and I don't have this page made, but um, so on this button if I wanted to have this go to some scores or something like that, I would once again single click on it like I'm doing right now. And uh, once I've single clicked on it, Give it an instance again, so I'll just name this scores. And then at that point, now I can go ahead and just 
given another go to and play. So go to and play, uh, and then whatever that scene was going to be created. And right now I don't have it. I don't have that scene created, but I'll probably end up naming it scores. Um, so right now this isn't going to go anywhere because I haven't created that place. But that's pretty much all there is to go to and stops to get your, your games going.